with flags out urging me not to swim. This is where it starts to pull. I did what some dared to do, thinking they'll be okay. What's weird is you're still almost where you can stand up. Uh-huh. So yeah, it just your leg away. It knocks your legs out yeah. from under you. After swimming a little further out, it did just that. It's almost like you don't have control of your legs. Having done a triathlon before, I know how to swim, but when the rip current came, okay. I still needed help from the lifeguard. But in that trough area, they may not be breaking the same way, and that's why people can't catch a wave and ride it in. That's why Larry Russell with the U.S. Lifeguard Association urges people to beware before getting in. If you dare to right now. So when you look down, if you look in the ocean, you'll see a more of a discolored area than the rest of the ocean. He says that's where a rip current normally forms. He says you should notice that before getting in as well as which way the current is going. If you do get caught in a rip current, instead of trying to swim straight in, you want to use the current to your advantage and swim with it before trying to come in. I did that safely on my second time out in the water today. But sometimes you don't get a second chance.